Welcome to the final match of the evening. In the top left, as the blue Protoss, it's Zest. And in the bottom right, as our red Terran, once again, it's T.Y. It all comes down to this. Who will be our third person to advance to the first major event of the ESL Pro Tour, IEM Katowice. Both players opening standard two base, factory going down for TY. Building. <laughs> He's. <laughs> that's, uh. You sure that's the correct location there, TY? So, he's gonna finish up that CC. And I uh, have to lift it off, move it back. Not a great start for the Terran. And you might be thinking, yeah, yeah, it's silly, it's stupid, but um, mistakes like that at this high le a level um, can really set you back. You know, this is beyond Grandmaster. These two have been pros for years. Z Zest is even going to see it. Oh my god, he's going to snipe the... Ah! ah! Ah, there's there's like there's like a pixel left on the bar It's it's got to be less than a second one one. Yeah. Yeah, it was like a third of a second, but That's another couple seconds delayed and he has to lift off and he has to wait for the SCV to move And now he can make his orbital absolutely huge there TY is going for a proxy starport and he's gonna build a magnet vac why is he going to build a medevac? Because he's double pumping Hellions. I think what we might see is an armory here. And a hellbat assault on the Protoss Natural. Oh no, no, I'm I'm actually an idiot. So he's gonna look the up. Go for the four hellion drop. Look guys. It's been a long day. Ten probes go down for two hellions. As the Terran, you know, I'll take that trade. It's pretty, pretty freaking decent. TY is going to pull ahead about four workers. Army supply even. Third base for TY coming up.
Hellion drop goes in. Colossi almost done at the Robo Facility. Four more probes go down for those remaining two Hellions. Medivac will make it out alive. In the meantime, three Adepts shade in. Only going to get two SCVs. Not good traits for Zest. Zest moving in with a warp prism. Quasi drop has begun. A Viking is here to stop this. Viking is pretty good <laughs> against warp prisms and Colossi. And Zest needs to not take any tough corners, but a dozen SCVs were picked off in the attack. Zest is following up with some stalkers, but they can't engage this many marines. What Zest might do is try to pull the army out of position over here while the stalkers move in from the other side. He, yeah, he's gonna go into the main. Is he out? Oh, he knows exactly where that tank is. He's going to stop right outside of range. TY is going to pull back a little bit. Charge finishing for the Protoss. Armor. Weapons on the way. Armor is going to finish up a little bit faster. High Templar coming onto the field. TY going for a push. Zest scouts this. Yeah. Even the fact that it's going to be scouted means TY is going to pull back, go home. Oh. Now he's going to push. Raven dropping a couple auto turrets. Gets five probe kills. Not gonna do much more. Cannon holding the line there. With the shield battery.
That was not a good impressive or good impression of a ghost snipe. Both these players just playing like pretty literally, literally and figuratively sniping at each other. One unit here, one unit there. But things have kind of calmed down. TY gonna take a fifth. Uh, Zest very likely gonna take a fifth. Storms go down on the Marines. Vikings in the sky do target down the Colossi. Disruptors behind this for Zest. TY winning the battle on the left. Disruptor shot doesn't do too much, just picks off a Marauder. Mortal goes down, and TY, definitely with the better micro, is maybe probably gonna hold. Um, oh, no, Zest gets the wraparound on the planetary. So this is some nice damage, but he's being collapsed on from the other side. He needs to be at a hasty retreat across the bridge. Down goes the high temp, down goes the Archon. A great disruptor connection, though. Charge lots coming in from the back. This is such a back and forth battle. Vikings landing. Ah, the charge lots clean up the Vikings. 25 SCVs go down in the engagement. I think that the army trades were pretty even, maybe a little bit in favor of TY. But um, the fact that it was on TY's turf, that he lost the planetary, that he lost the SCVs, um, definitely means Zest had the better trades. TY, refloating out his fourth. Disruptor shot whiffs in the middle of that army. Stalkers blink forward. TY is really injured here. Only a couple of the medevacs have energy. Huge storms go down on the bio. Vikings land to help on the ground, but the disruptor shot is going to zone out the Terran army, which is going to allow the Raider Tower to go down. GG is called in Zest takes game number one of the best of five. in the bottom right corner as the Red Terran. It's TY. And in the top left, as the blue toss, it's Zest. Very hard fought game number one. TY with the Reaper expand. Assessed with a standard gateway opener. Looks like both these players want to take it to at least two base once again. Rip. 
Zest, forcing the CC to be built off-center. Rather than delayed. So he's gonna have to spend a little bit of time lifting, moving, dropping. Not at all dissimilar from game number one. Zest dropping a proxy pylon. And this is going to be a proxy Stargate. Hero Reaper absorbs a laser ball. Kamehameha, if you will. Stop the CC from being delayed. Adapts backed up into a corner. Will escape. With just a little bit of health. Or will it? Yeah, probably. Here comes the Oracle. TY, producing Widow Mines, producing a medevac. That does signal a Widow Mine drop. Adept's doing a good job of dealing with these Hellions. Reaper trying to get a couple probe kills. Adept shades into the main. And the Oracle hits on the other side. What am I trying to mitigate this damage? This is really nice. Uh, Oracle was trying to burn down the Widow Mine, but the SCV has got the repair off in the nick of time. Oops. Accidental lift off of the CC as well as the factory. Here comes the second Oracle. I think TY might be a little bit thrown off right now. He only lost five workers to the Oracles, but he's down 27 workers to 40 in the Protoss. Protoss already going for a third. Phoenix coming out for him as well. Robo facility going down for zest. TY's found the proxy and has ordered exterminatus on this little area of the map. The air toss is here. They're, they might be able to get an interception on this tank, yeah. Uh, well, here comes the Viking. Are they gonna go in? Are they, though? Being careful. No, they are not. They are not going to go in. Here comes the Widowmine drop, delayed but not forgotten. Recall on the Air Force gets a lift on one Widowmine. Seven probes have gone down, though. Zest still in the lead.
Robo Bay, as well as additional robotics facilities going down for Zest. Revelation on the army, on the production. Phoenix aren't going to do much to that. The Marines should be able to stop the Phoenix from doing pretty much any... Oh, no, the Phoenix can get a lift on these Marines. Yeah, they are going to. Oracle starts burning down the SCVs. But here come the reinforcements. Phoenix is going to swap around to the main, get half the health on the medevac. I feel like they're a better op targets of opportunity here, like the uh, SCVs that were building the production structures, but Zest still getting damaged on picking off a further three SCVs and another couple Marines. Zest, going for a major attack. TY. Tanks positioned on the high ground, tanks positioned on the low ground. Disruptors coming out behind this for our Protoss. Charge not quite finished. Three, two, one, zero. And the charge lots get in on the front tank line. Marines still holding up the back tank line though. However, Zest has found or uh, dug himself an arc where he can get a kill on that CC. He can start getting into the natural, start getting in on those SCVs and in on the production. Tanks are going to slowly inch forward here. I feel like the Colossi don't even really need to bother. GG, a zest takes the win. Once again, and perhaps one final time, in the bottom right corner of Nightshade, hanging on to a thread, hanging on to a dream to move on to Katowice in this North American qualifier. It's the Red Terran TY. And in the top left, as the Blue Protoss, with only one more victory needed to get himself that ticket to Poland. It's Zest! Zest opening gate gas. TY with the Reaper, expand. Zest has a heck of a lot of momentum, a heck of a lot of morale going into this game three. But if TY takes a win here, he could swing momentum in his favor and take the series.
probe once again, forcing TY to build the CC off center. Hey, Furious Droid. Um, so the way this works is the two players that finished at the top of the winner's bracket, they don't play each other. It's not actually a grand final. There's just no mechanism um, on that site for them to notate it otherwise. Both those players um, do move on to Katowice, as will the winner of this match. There's the robotics facility on the low ground for Zest. Second Adept back home for the Protoss as well. Ah, oh, Shade can't quite get under the CC. TY going for a marine move out. He's going to be met with two adepts and a stalker. He decides not to engage, but this is pretty scattered at this point. Triple Hellion drop in the main. This is to bait the army out of position. Okay, this probe line's totally open. Oh no, but he drops the Hellions on the low ground on accident. Here come the Hellions into the mineral line. Half dozen probes go down. That could have gone way worse for Zest. Half dozen probes in exchange for four or uh, three Hellions. I don't know if it was worth it for TY. Maybe. I I don't know. Zest dropping a third. as he moves out the war prism. Stim's only halfway finished. It's entirely possible that Zest could get a cancel on Stim. Um, they're going after the SCV line, as opposed to the production, staying safe, staying toward the back of the Terran base. Get the refinery as well, which is a nice pick. Out comes a Viking, which will shut this drop down. Two Vikings, even. Oh, you can't lose that cargo. Zest does have recall. Ooh. The Immortal survives with only one health. Dark Shrine on the menu. A zesty Dark Shrine. Um, and it's going to have to do a lot of work for him. He is down 31 army supply to 52. Two shield batteries. 
under production. Uh, the Terran can hit right before he's finished. Okay, no, he's stemming toward the third. Two disruptors could also totally decimate this Terran force. Ah, uh, Zest doesn't want to defend the third. He's going to forfeit the third. Okay, Warp Prism drops off a DT back home. I really like this. There's no scans available. Yeah, TY can't push in because he doesn't have a scan and DTs could pick him apart. However, Viking lands in the main of Zest and picks off a dozen probes. Okay, there's another scan. But there's still two DTs in the main wreaking havoc, picking off add-ons, causing general mayhem. TY doesn't get the warp prism. Yeah, he's going to warp in a DT. Uh, well, he's not going to be able to delay the CC, but three add-ons have gone down in the main. This is absolutely ridiculous. TY has to be frustrated out of his mind. Not like this. He is a single game away from elimination from this qualifier. Oh, the CC's on fire. And that's the one that's closest to a scan. TY, repair that CC, please. Looks like this aggression is finally cleaned up. TY will get the repair off. Extended Thermal Lance Colossi on the way for the Protoss. After, after all those plays... TY ahead in army supply, workers even. Zest, reestablishing his third nexus. TY repairing his third town hall. Large chunk of TY's army out of position. Disruptor shots go off! One tank goes down. It's TY's turn to poke out. Ah, he's thinking better of it. Zest posturing, maybe for a fourth base. Double forge coming up. Has a bit of a bank to start those upgrades as soon as they pop. Before Prism gets picked off, these DTs are going to be recalled. Scouts skirmishing everywhere.
Zest picking up a couple, picking off a couple units here and there. Charge lot warp in, getting ready to crash into the Terran third. Ty trying to establish his fourth base, trying to hold on till it becomes a planetary. Zest getting his own fourth nexus. Terran at a weapon and armor advantage for just a little bit. Zest is soon to catch up. Next time these armies clash. It should be even on upgrades, but TY also finishing up 2 2. Okay, here comes the charge lot flank. It's going to pull some of the Terran army out of position. It's still too much. Zest can't break in. Both players repelling each other's attacks. TY massing at the planetary. But TY's holding here. Zest cannot push in unless he gets like a pretty major disruptor hit off in the middle of these tanks. This number of marine medevac can pretty easily deal with the zealots, but the shadow stride from behind with the DTs is going to shut them down. Plus two weapons. Under development. Under research for Zest. 3-3 three, three hitting the field for the Terran. I think the Protoss is taking the worst of these trades, for sure. Oh no, the Disruptors are gonna get run down. TY pushing across the field. Bio on the ground, Vikings in the air. Zest's army evaporates. DTs are going to push these guys back for now. Dozen SCVs get picked off. DTs try to trade with the tanks. One of them escapes. Two DTs for a tank. Um, Zest does have quite a bank behind this, though. He can remax, but, you know, the Protoss production isn't terribly on par with the Terrans right now. Um, Terran, of course, also ahead in upgrades here. Storm just now heading the field for Zest. Liberators holding ground for TY.
And TY is going into nukes. Okay. Okay, Boomer. Get it, it's Boomer, because they're nukes. All right, all right, I'm sorry. I, I apologize. I've had a severe and continuous lapse in comedy. Zest is floating a lot, but he's kind of melting here. TY continuing to push forward. Disruptors are on cooldown. Oh, they get picked off before they can get a massive hit on the ghosts. TY pushing in. Should be able to get this. Nah, no. Oh my god, the DT is putting in so much work for Zest, but a scan will put an end to that. GG is called, and TY puts a point on the board in the best of five. Number four will be Eternal Empire. In the top right, as the Blue Terran, finally getting a point on the board in this best of five, it's TY. In the bottom left, as the Red Toss, a single game away from moving on to Katowice, it's Zest. We're on Eternal Empire. I expect to see another massive macro game on this map between these two players. And momentum is a real thing, you know? TY has it in his favor. Zest is probably pretty tired. We're five hours into this event right now. And that can put a toll on the player, you know? Um, I think Zest might be dropping a proxy. TY with the Worker Scout. Yep, there's the proxy pylon. Probably a proxy Stargate. TY jump jets to the high ground. Gonna back off. Might find a probe kill. Oh, Depp saves it. It's actually going to be a proxy Twilight from Zest. It's not gonna be a Dark Shrine, it's gonna be Blink. Okay, so may maybe Misa being wrong. Maybe we should go on to two base blink stalker all in, man.
Oh, no. No two base all in. Only third base. Stim on the way for the Terran. Mortal production beginning for Zest as he goes into a robo bay. Nothing in research at the Twilight Council. It's a given moment. Immortal is going to go down. That's not good. It's not good to give away a free Immortal. Stalkers are caught in. They don't want to be flanked. He recalls to the natural. Shuts down an auto turret. Harass. Three probes have gone down. Extended thermal lance about halfway finished at the Robo Bay. It's gonna catch the Raven actually, which is pretty nice. Uh, don't lose a Stalker for free. Okay. Ty going for a major bio tank mine push. Zest, hitting his upgrades, getting warp prism speed, TY, pumping out vikings, marines, marauders, getting up additional production, getting up armories for mech upgrades, getting infantry armor. Zest drops a fourth. We are going to have that macro game. Maybe. TY pushing forward. Zest sees it with his Almaya. Charge almost finished for a red toss. And I think we're going to see 
another pretty stabby, pretty passive game from both these guys. I am a little bit surprised Zest isn't going for some kind of Dark Shrine play. Uh, TY seemed to really struggle against that earlier in the series. But here come the charge lots, in on the SCVs. There's the warp in. The Vikings don't all tag onto the warp prism. They're going to go and help shut down the second warp prism. A lot of charge lots hanging out in the back here doing nothing. Quasi is going to begin roasting SCVs. Doesn't do fall. Fourteen in total. Go down. Zest up to sixty nine workers. At a pretty big economic advantage over the Terran, the fourth base established too, and not even remotely under threat. Zealots getting ready to stab into the natural as the bulk of the forces are going to hit the Terran third. Dozen and a half SCVs have fallen. Zest not relenting with the aggression. Multiple warp prisms warping in at once. Bio's on the retreat. Two dozen SCVs is the death toll right now. Stalkers blink forward, start sniping down the Air Force, trying to engage the Marines on the ground. It's not going to be enough. However, Zealot's still doing damage in the natural, getting supply depots, picking off the reinforcements. Vikings forced to land on the ground. TY holds, however, his economy is pretty crippled. Another couple workers get picked off, another couple marines. More damage to the Terran structures. Zest setting up a flank, it's not going to connect, but GG is called, and Zest takes the series. Three to one and moves on to I am Katowice.